Organizations are working to make the event as inclusive as possible. The Museum of Discovery creating a guide to help explain the event to kids with autism. Tonight, THV 11's Rebecca Brown shows us how much this means to families. Growing up, we all felt the joy of getting a new book or reading one. And moments like that are unforgettable, especially when it's a book made special just for you. We've created a social story or a social narrative um, for our friends who are autistic or in the neurodivergent community. Social stories explain social situations to autistic children, like, for example, the solar eclipse. A day full of excitement for many, but it can be a lot for people with autism. So Kendall Thornton with the Museum of Discovery says they wanted to help. Social stories help prepare individuals for new experiences or new events. And so for someone who has autism, something as, as historic as the total solar eclipse can be pretty, you know, it can be stress inducing. It can affect, you know, impact their routine. Thornton says the illustration just helps explain to children with autism on what they can expect on April 8th. It follows a young girl named Rachel and her experiencing the eclipse with her family for the first time. So you're going to hear this, you're going to see this, you're going to experience this. This is why we want to wear glasses, you know, to protect our eyes. And although the book is following a young girl named Rachel, it hits home for a little girl named Trudy. My daughter, Trudy, she is about to be six years old. She's five and she got her autism diagnosis um, when she turned three. So the first thing she'll go is, oh, wow. She, when she's excited about something, Oh, wow. Or yes, I can. That's what she likes to do when she's about to do something new. Summer Brindley is the mother of Trudy Brindley, and she says social stories have changed her daughter's life. They've made it easier for her to explain big events like the solar eclipse, along with many other milestones in her life. You don't get a book on how to be a special needs parent, but I was just so excited about the in-depth detail the Museum of Discovery did with the social story. And we love social stories like this. She has thrived on um, therapies and resources like this to get her where she is today. In Little Rock, Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News.